After the much-anticipated Tesla Semi unveiling, multiple orders from large companies have started to come in. The latest order came from UPS, which ordered 125 trucks. Total orders for the truck have reached over 1,200. You know, this truck will change the trucking industry. It's not really a long-haul truck, and one of the videos I posted was a trucker complaining about how this truck is really not capable of doing, you know, 600 miles per day. And it isn't. The truck that was unveiled was more of a, a day truck. For example, going from city to city, like in like a hundred mile like radius sort of thing, doing local deliveries. And I think the reason that UPS wants these trucks is because it's perfect for them. UPS ordered about 125 of the all-electric trucks from Tesla. That's the largest order so far. Among uh, UPS, Anheuser-Busch, Walmart, JB Hunt, Asco have all ordered trucks. And people are starting to see that there's going to be a trend towards these electric trucks because they do keep the cost of trucking down. The uh, UPS Chief Information Engineering Officer, Juan Perez, called the trucks groundbreaking and poised to usher in a new era for safety, environmental impact, and the cost of trucking operations. This means that UPS felt so strong that they spent $3 million on just the reservation of trucks. That's $20,000 per truck to reserve. That's a lot of money. A lot of people are correct. The infrastructure is not there currently for trucks, but eventually it will be. It's not going to be in the form of gas stations. It will be in the form of like restaurants, for example, where everybody needs to stop and eat, like near hotels and things like that. The way we look at infrastructure for charging up these trucks is not going to be the same thing as uh, fuel stations that we currently have. UPS Chief Information and Engineering Officer Juan Perez called the trucks groundbreaking and poised to usher in a new era for safety, environmental impact, and the cost of trucking operations. This means that UPS spent close to $3 million on the reservation alone. So that means that each truck costs about $20,000 to reserve. And that's just the base model with the capability of 300 miles. Price. What is the price of this Tesla Semi? No one really knows, but the expected price is going to be about $150,000 for the 300 mile range Semi and $180,000 for the 500 mile range. They also have like special edition ones that they're calling Founders Edition, which is going to be more expensive. I believe $200,000. So these are prices that could fluctuate. But in comparison, when you compare this to a diesel semi, a diesel semi costs around $100,000 to $120,000. So you can see that the cost of an electric truck is going to pay for itself much sooner than a diesel. And you have to keep in mind that diesel, diesel fuel costs money. These diesel trucks get about 8 miles to the gallon, and 8 is actually pretty good. So when you take accounting the true cost of trucking, as uh, Musk mentions, that also means like maintenance. I don't know if you guys ever maintained a car. It, it costs a lot of money. When you add up all the costs, it's very expensive. Fuel in itself for a car after 200,000 miles is very expensive. And then you have oil changes, you, you have filters, you have like coolant and things that go wrong all the time in these trucks that have to be maintained. So the expectation is that these diesel, these, uh, excuse me, these electric cars, electric trucks are much more simpler to maintain. There's less moving parts and they'll last longer. So the main scare that most people have are the batteries. If the batteries like all of a sudden stop, yes, it's going to be very expensive, but Modern batteries don't just stop, they degrade over time. So they'll have cells in the battery pack that are losing charge and becoming weak. And oftentimes, that was the case when the Prius came out. I don't know if you guys remember the Toyota Prius. When it came out, everybody was afraid about the batteries. And it's very rare for any Prius battery to just die all of a sudden. All of these semis from Tesla have automatic pilot or automation and companies do want to remove the drivers because it's a huge cost to them and as soon as 20 years 
that there's not going to be any drivers behind the wheel. So millions of people are going to be out of work. And the work that these people do is necessary currently. So if you take people out from these jobs, where are we going to put them? There is a big question to ask yourselves. Where are these people going to go without jobs? Driving is a solid job. And it's a job where drivers can expect to get a minimum wage of $34,000 per year, which is actually 11% higher than the country's median wage. Trucking is also an opportunity for non-college workers to work in a field in which they get a decent salary. It's an opportunity for Hispanic, Black, and Native American citizens to earn a really solid wage. So I believe that drivers are going to be in the trucks for the birth of automation. But after a few years, we're going to start to see drivers phased out of these positions in the effort to decrease the cost of trucking. And companies are pretty much in favor of this, but unions want to keep the drivers behind the wheel for safety. Job loss means that we should not take this lightly because it means that we need to find places for these workers. Unemployment, for example, leads to crime and people do things depending, people do things that give them meaning, like they need goals in life to fulfill themselves. If we remove the job part of working, people do not have meaning. So you need to find meaning in, in other ways. So what will the electric truck and car revolution mean to the oil production and industry? Cars require a lot of oil. Semi-trucks on average travel about 68,000 miles per year, which is actually six times more than the average car travels at per year. An average car travels about 11,000 miles per year. And on average, a car gets about 24 miles to the gallon, and a semi gets six to eight miles to the gallon. So that means that a semi uses about 24 times the amount of fuel a car per year uses. So that means that it would take about 35 million cars per year to be replaced by the electric vehicles in order to stump oil demand growth. The Tesla semi is going to accelerate this growth towards renewable energy.